where Karen and Bo Christensen, a Danish-American couple who met in Germany in 2016. Bo is an airline pilot, and Karen is a freelance advertising creative director. In late 2022, we bought Chateau de la Tuilerie in Martel, France, and are working to make it a bed and breakfast and wedding destination fit for a queen. Welcome to Queen's Escape. Well, I am home and I have so much stuff to unload, but I think I'm going to go around and um, open up all the shutters first because it's so dark in here and check all the rooms and then I'll, I'll, I'll uh, start doing the car. <laughs> all right, everything here is good. What I did notice uh, when I came around to open all of the the windows, you know, and take the shutters off and the, the, we have these huge iron bars that go across to hold the shutters closed. And when, and this room was closed up, this is our dining room. And what I noticed is when I uh, came in here, it smells like smoke. And it must be from when we burned uh, the fireplace last year. If you let the room sit closed long enough, it, it smells like smoke. A few other observations I'll show you. Oh, I just wanted to come out and see what beautiful tree this was. And it's a nectarine tree. This is Isabella's nectarine tree that she planted last November. Oh, it's really, really pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's so wonderful. I just love it. Really gorgeous. And the, uh, we're getting a few small flowers on some of the others on the peach trees. Small flower, flowers on the peach trees. And that's nice. And then leaves, leaves on the rest and leaves are good. And boy, look at the grass. I need to mow. <laughs> I need to mow this week. Yeah, the grass is really, really grown in the last two weeks, and that's good. I am surrounded buy stuff I brought from the uh, Dusseldorf apartment and to put away. I brought it all in from the car and it's a chaos in here and I don't like the chaos. So I'm gonna have a long few days, I think, getting this so sorted out. Always a part of uh, coming back from a trip is to get the car washed and the, the birds where we park in, in Dusseldorf can find our car in the dark. <laughs> It's so disgusting. <laughs> Yay! I was able to get the kitchen cleaned up a lot yesterday and all of the new stuff from my former apartment uh, brought in, which is, which is really cool. So that room is livable and I don't feel uh, tense in it. <laughs> I still have to do the dining room. I have all of my clothes and all of my pictures from the walls in my last apartment and <clears throat> It just everything, uh, dishes, no, not dishes. I got the dishes away. Everything that I had there to put away. So that's left to do. But this grass is so tall. I just have to jump in and do this now. So I'm just gonna replant some flowers that I have been uh, having in the castle and letting them die <laughs> out here in the planters real quick. And then, so maybe they, they stand a chance and then I'm gonna go get on the mower and Try to get this place a little ready for our guests that are coming tomorrow. All right, so I weeded and put some plants in my planters that needed it and weeded around these strawberry plants that are, that are growing. And there's a couple of them growing over there. I'm happy about that. Put the scarlet begonias out here and a few other plants. And then, you know, I wasn't planning on keeping these lavender plants that are out here 
and the planters that my aunt planted, but they, uh, they're doing all right. So I just went around and uh, weeded those and took off the brown stems that were dead. And uh, I mean, they're okay. I need to look up a little bit about caring uh, for lavender, lavender plants, but they smell nice and yeah, lavender grows really well uh, in this area. Yeah, so we have some local lavender here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and down here too. Yeah, we were thinking to do, uh, you know, like you all uh, recommended to us, uh, annuals out here in the and the planters and just uh, replace them, keep some nice color. We'll see. Well, I have mowed and mowed and mowed, <laughs> and I was able to get a bit in front of the chateau done. So it looks nice for guests here sitting out on the terrace. And I have the rest of this big field to do up to our uh, pig fence. And then I have most of this field right here left to do, but I've done around our little family fruit orchard and oh, a bit over here by Bo's uh, garage workshop. And I did over here in front of the orangery, uh, so it looks nice near where people park. And I did down the driveway, all the way down the driveway on either side around our um, tr uh, trees down here. Linden trees, they're called. Yes, so. You can mow a whole lot in two days, and then there's still a whole lot to mow. <laughs> so we'll just keep working at it. I've been mowing the lawn for the last two days just to get it presentable for the guests. And now I'm going to um, put away all of my belongings that I brought from Dusseldorf because my workroom is a crazy mess and I can't stand it. <laughs> Wish me luck. So some semblance of order has been restored to the workroom and I can breathe again. I mean, this whole place was just covered with <sighs> bags and pictures and all of the stuff I had in Dusseldorf, but now at least uh, I can breathe again and I have things in categories where I know where what I need to do to start getting them put away. So yay, that's done. I'm off to get some neglected tulips in the ground. It rained yesterday, so the ground should be soft. I pulled them out of the ground in front of the chateau because I don't want spring blooming, only spring blooming flowers up there. We want to get some color that will bloom longer or some summer uh, blooming flowers up there. So, yeah, so I pulled the wonderful tulips out and, and then I, I, I got the flu in the fall <laughs> when I was supposed to be uh, getting them in the ground and, you know, I just didn't get to it. So, but they're, they're sprouting, so they have to get in the ground. So, see what we can do. <laughs> My aunt's uh, pear tree is in bloom and there's so many bees and insects around it. It's really beautiful. 
I love to see that. Really nice. And then my mother's plum tree is just beginning. And I love the shape of this tree. That's a pretty shape in my opinion. And those flowers are coming out. Yeah, this one has sort of more individual petals on each flower. Look at the little bee. We have dad's apple tree, which looks even prettier today. Golly, look at that. That's so pretty. And then uh, the cherry trees. So Alexander's cherry tree and Brian's cherry tree, which just caught a lot of their blossoms. There's some more to come. They look good. All right, I've got my oven preheated to 204 degrees Celsius. Just gonna clean my fish. All right, so the neighbor brought me a trout. There he is. Can you see? Oh, you can't see him. Voila, trout. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see him. And I'll keep that to put his guts in. I think. Gross, gross. So, I'm just gonna place some of these onion down oops, on the bottom with some butter. And I don't have lemon, a whole lemon, but I put a little lemon juice down there too. Dinner. <laughs> Alrighty. Karen's trout dinner. <laughs> Let's leave it for 45 minutes. All right. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Look at it. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And that nice coming right off the bone. Let's see how that tastes. Very nice. I think I'm gonna add just a little lemon and salt and uh, sit down and enjoy this. So, for the first time, when I come out to the, to the, through the fields, I actually ran into some sanglier. Oh! And they're making a lot of noise over there. They grunted over here. I think I surprised them and they surprised me. And uh, <laughs> So I turned my camera and my bright light on. I was just singing to myself as I was walking home and I heard a big grunting noise. And now I hear a lot of grunting over there on the left side. So I'm gonna try to 
just get through here on the right side and hopefully <laughs> They're far enough away now. Ooh, do you hear them? Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That is super crazy. I'm glad uh, I'm glad they ran from me. <laughs> let's put it that way and let's get home. After walking home last night and encountering a big group of wild boar, I can see the dogs smell them too. <laughs> it's Sunday and uh, the hunters look for wild boar on Sunday. Yeah. Dogs are cute. <laughs> And he has a horn. I heard the horn blowing. We don't allow the hunters to bring guns on the property. <laughs> oh, okay, definitely have to go check that fence. <laughs> but the dogs will smell a lot over where they're going. That's where I was walking and ran into all the boar. <laughs> so I have guests in Himiko this Easter. And so I'm just bringing in some daffodils from the yard to replace the succulent I have in here. Put that over here. There we go. Very nice. And turn on the heat. And turn on a couple of lights to welcome guests. There we go. There's one. It's a little bit of a dark day. All right. One looks good. Pretty much. All right. I got my little bunnies here and a few chocolate coins. Quick check to the bathroom to make sure everything is still perfectly clean. Looks good. Let's see if we got a little extra. I got a little extra toilet paper in there. I think, and I brought them some extra soap. And I think since they're going to be here three nights, I'm going to just give them another extra soap too. But here looks good. Good, good, good. Super. Bed looks good. Normally heat the rooms up to level two just before the guests arrive. This time of year, you know, it's it was nice when I got back here from our little vacation, but um, it uh, got cooler again. Let's put these in the closet. Now we're good. Now we are good. Yes. Yeah, so I close the door so we can heat up a little. Ah, yeah, I think that's good. 
and uh, go downstairs so that I can be there when they arrive. So Bo is coming from to not Toulouse, Dusseldorf today, and he uh, is coming for Easter weekend, and it's Saturday already. And usually he flies into Toulouse, and then he has to take the train here. But the train is completely non-bookable. Probably full from all the people who are coming in from Toulouse who already booked a ticket. So, <laughs> uh, he has no way to get here the last two hours, so I am going to Toulouse to pick him up. And it just so happens our guests who are staying with us for uh, the Easter weekend didn't want the petit déjeuner breakfast because they had plans and um, they're not going to be home till night. So it actually works out perfectly that I can go and uh, pick him up and be able to lock the door at the same time. Easter miracle. <laughs> Got a last minute guest who wants to come and stay tonight. And so he's just gonna come directly to the chateau. So I got the prices here so I can talk to him about the rooms. And then when he chooses, I have some fresh flowers for his room. Probably weeds, but they're pretty. <laughs> and a little Easter chocolate and decor that I'll take up with us. <laughs> Bo out there mowing. <laughs> We've done so much mowing, but the grass over here, it's already gotten a lot taller. So he, he, when he gets here, he just goes a mile a minute the whole time he's here from when the sun rises until it sets. And, uh, you know, we're supposed to go somewhere, 2 or 2.30, which is very soon. And he's like, I'm just going to mow a little bit. <laughs> so, he's out there mowing. And it is a really enjoyable thing to do. But, uh, yeah, he can get ready faster than I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. 